From the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Andrew Adams. Boy, Andrew, a few people getting some extended relief, a few extra showers. Mm -hmm. We'll call them bonus showers yeah. this morning. Yeah, won the lottery. We got some extra rain. <laughs> we uh, did. Next, not the, right, not right, the we did. We're, we're still at work in the morning, but that's okay. We'll take the rain. That's fine. We'll take the rain because we needed it so bad. It was such a dry month overall. Well, our extra rain is falling. It's really light. You head out into western Oklahoma, light rain and some drizzle uh, from roll through Cheyenne and up toward Colony, moving into Caddo County now, the leading edge of that very light drizzle. This isn't going to accumulate to a lot. If you want accumulating rain, head up to Pawnee and Osage counties. Some nice downpours with some lightning, little thunderstorms from Blackburn through Manford. This cell is peaking up just a little bit, so going to get a little loud in the town of Man uh, Manford in just a few minutes and into south and southwestern Oklahoma. A couple extra showers are forming, light to moderate overall. Rain accumulations from this morning rain won't be a whole lot and it won't be a whole lot through the afternoon rain chances remaining mainly low along I 40 and south the chance for sprinkles is here for Oklahoma City but our rain chances are so low I don't see us adding a whole lot in terms of what we've gotten so far better chance for accumulating rain in southeast Oklahoma and then check out the panhandle later this evening chance for a few thunderstorms popping up between four and seven o'clock and then we're really going to shut things off as we go through the next couple of days. Our real winners were north of I-40 from this event, two to four inches in a very large band across the entire northern section of the state. I wish more of us could have gotten that, but we got to take what we get. This morning, just cloudy over downtown Oklahoma City on our Regency Cam and our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network. Current temperature is warm already. 78 degrees. We've got some 80s hanging around the metro, some mid 80s into southwest Oklahoma. So things are warm to begin with, and we're only going to get warmer from here. Winds are out of the south right now, 8 to almost 20 miles per hour in central Oklahoma. We'll keep them that way as we go through the next uh, several hours and heat things up once this system gets out and the clouds clear out. Main jet stream up to the north, which means main storm track is going to bring most of the rain over the next several days up there. Our heat dome is rebuilding and we'll see the hundreds return as early as tomorrow in Oklahoma City. Some of us do hit 100 today and we could see the chance for some rain. It's a very low shot, but we're looking at it on uh, next Tuesday as a week disturbance passes and maybe even this Thursday, but I didn't pause on it because it's a very far cry and it's going to take a lot to get anything out of it. The real picture over the next nine days, the first nine days of August, it's going to be hot. It'll feel like 100 to 105 each and every afternoon, even the ones where we don't hit 100 officially. This morning's rain chances from western Oklahoma into south central Oklahoma on the more scattered side. Once you get into Oklahoma City, dropping off a bit and then of course, up in northeast Oklahoma, there's that small complex of showers and storms ongoing right now. 98 this afternoon, OKC, some triple digit heat from southwest into northwest Oklahoma, even out into the panhandle. Guyman at 101 this afternoon, Ponco City and Stillwater both at 97. So it, it's going to be a hot one, and I wouldn't expect most of us to see a cooling shower. Oklahoma City, I'm cutting off at 10% this afternoon for a passing shower. Best chance this afternoon will be out in the panhandle late this afternoon into the very early evening hours. Overnight will probably be just about as mild as we were this morning. Upper 70s and low 80s, so very muggy mornings and hot afternoons, kind of like what we saw for a lot of July. 101 tomorrow afternoon in Oklahoma City and Stillwater. 103 from Ponca City through Enid and Alva and even hotter to the south toward Altus at 106. They'll win and most of the state's going to be in the triple digits tomorrow. We're looking at far eastern Oklahoma, maybe into the upper 90s. As we go through Wednesday, there is a front that's coming through. It's not going to drop our temperatures off for Thursday and Wednesday afternoon, even more 100s. But that front, as it does come through, might provide just enough energy that early Thursday we could see a few showers. That's why we've got that 20% there. But like I said, it's not going to help us out when it comes to our temperatures. Hundreds likely for several of our afternoons coming up and we'll cross our fingers for next Tuesday, the 9th of August for some extra showers. That's all we got for now, but don't go anywhere. News 9 will be right back after this break.